Okay. Welcome back, Nick Lanza's Comic Corner. Classic slash non classics. This is episode 98. Now, it won't be a double shot this episode. It will be a triple shot. This is my third triple shot. And we're doing the entire Warren Alice run for Astonish the X-Men. Ghost Box. Exo Exogenic. And uh, Exogenesis. Okay. This one has uh, the artwork by Chris S Simone Pacelli. Yeah. The artwork in this book is not that good. I mean, wow, this hurts your eyes when you read this thing. For one thing, you know uh, Cyclops is smiling like, like he is in, in Greg Land's art, but he just can't keep his mouth closed. A lot of time he just very rarely keeps his mouth closed. I like the very covers, but the good God, the the covers are awful. I mean, look at this. Does that look okay to you? I mean, my eyes are bothering me all the time reading this for like the third time I read this. I was probably like a few times, but it didn't get better until it showed off the um, the Ghost Boxes miniseries. Yeah, this collect issue is twenty five and thirty plus the two issue miniseries of Ghost Boxes. The story itself is good, but the artwork is terrible throughout most of the thing. The arc, the arc has the some of the worst artwork I've ever seen. And of course, comes exploring the ghost box, like what's inside these other parallel dimensions. Now, one of these does come back, and another thing. <laughs> there's an arc where, uh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things. Like one, uh, the artwork for uh, the second story in, in Ghost Box, and this is a really, really, this looks like artwork you would see in the X in, in the noir books. Yeah, I like this artwork. This looks like being a short story. I like it. I really, really do. Um, yeah. But, um, overall, mainly everything deals with the ghost box, and plus deals with, uh, some Chinese mutants, and the return of Forge, for Simpsons M Day. And, of course, uh, he wants to go back to the with Storm. She says no, because she's happily married to Black Panther. And, of course, he apparently dies, so he does come back a few years later. It came back just, what was it, uh, two, two years ago? Yeah, and this art came out in 09, so he had been dead for about three years. So, well, apparently dead for three years. Um, because the fact that the story is good, but the artwork is not that good, I'm giving this book an 8. 8 out of 10. Alright. Exogenic. The artwork is much better in this book. This deals with um oh I almost forgot Storm joins the the roster in these issues. Um basically for this uh some of the X Men are brought back and uh one they they of course I love the, the new beast costume. I, I like Beast's new costume uh, he has. Yeah and of course uh, one thing about Warren Ellis for his arcs, they always begin and with uh, wraparound covers, which I think is a neat idea. I like that. Deals with some resurrecting some old mutants have been dead for some time. Also uh, features apparently the return of the brood. Uh, it's somewhat a confusing story to read, but if you can understand the characters, you can. The, the story itself is okay, but at points you're just confused, like, what am I reading here? Um, I get this book at, um, in eight, just like the last book. Yeah, not really much to that book. This book, the five, oh yes, uh, Ghost Bo that, that book contains issues 3135. This contains the entire Shabby's May series. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Um, Warren Ellis writes uh, these characters. I mean, the only character I don't like how they're written. Uh, I don't mind how most of the characters are written in this book. But, uh, first of which, what is up with this freaking artwork? It looks hideous. The artwork is ridiculous on most of the characters. 
um, for some reason, Storm is in the kitchen wearing nothing but a freaking towel. She is practically the only person in this entire uh, book who is drawn perfectly fine. And for some reason, she's got a freaking mohawk. Yeah, that is never explained in the entire book of why she's got a mohawk or why she's wearing the outfit. She's, well, these supposed to be like uh, field uniforms. I don't mind the outfit Colossus is wearing, but the artwork in this book is hideous. And why is Storm having a mohawk? There is no explanation exactly why this is. I mean, there's many things wrong with this book. Uh, number one is the artwork. Number two is Storm having a mohawk for no apparent reason. Number three is the outfits. What the heck is up with the outfits? Four. Emma Frost is written like a woman, basically, who has to be saved by Cyclops most of the time. Five. Her hair is so freaking long. Her hair is not that long. This guy, this I think the artwork is much better than this book. At least this one's shoulder length. This one has her hair going down to her freaking ankles. Okay? Um... The story itself is okay. Most of the characters are written really well, except for Emma Frost. She is written horribly. Yeah, it's like she's just crying out for uh, some guy to save her. That's the way it is on most of these covers. And I had no problem with her outfit. The outfits, I don't have much of a problem with them for some of these people. I mean, the only people in this entire book is written well. Everybody's written well except for Frost. Okay, like I said, the artwork is hideous. Um, Frost has got long hair for some odd reason. Storm Sarah is a mohawk. Frost is written like a complete idiot who has to be saved by your Cyclops or Wolverine, even though she's not written that way. Storm, yeah, Storm's got the mohawk. Um... There is many things wrong with this book. The only thing good about this book is the story. The covers are okay for the issues. But, Warren Ellis, you put the Astonish X-Men series on hiatus for a piece of crap of a miniseries. I mean, most of the time, I have no idea what's going on in this book. I mean, stuff in this book is not very well explained. I mean, look at um, Emma Frost. I mean, she basically sticks her breast out like a complete idiot. Sticks it in Wolverine's face for no apparent reason, and he doesn't give a damn. I mean, Emma Frost is overly sexualized in this book. You don't get this book? I'm getting this book a six. Because of what, uh, same thing I said. Emma Frost is written like an idiot. Her hair is too long. Storm is in a mohawk for some stupid reason. The artwork in this book is freaking terrible. And the story is decent for what it is. Six. Well, that's it. Stay tuned for the next episode, which is also going to be a triple shot. And it'll be episode number 99 and double shot number four. Okay, see you there. Bye.